All right, so here today we have our first or second second brand new developer notes today We're gonna jump into it and talk about 7ds idle a lot here So buckle in leave a like subscribe up definitely would help out a ton. Let's hop into things here This is the again uh, basically community manager of 7 daily sins idle adventure or rather the developer Yeah, um I don't know what they call it. They call it something different around Grand Cross. It's hard to believe that it's already been a month since the grand launch of Seven Deadly Sins Idle Adventure, and almost a month since we introduced our first developer notes to all our adventurers. As introduced through our first developer notes, we have implemented the server chat for community enhancements, updated the knighthood content, and added a new minigame and events. We have noticed that all of our hunters have been enjoying the newly released updates, but we are also curious to know if we have met your expectations. We thank you for the various suggestions um, to make the game more enjoyable. We are carefully reviewing all of your feedback to repay your continued support and interest in the game. And our development team is working diligently on future updates and improvements. We are committed to making Seven Deadly Sins Idle Adventure a continuously fun and engaging experience for all our adventurers. But let's first start with a second developer note by reviewing the upcoming updates. To first update, um, or sorry, the first update we'd like to introduce is the addition of a new growth system. To address the desire for our adventurers for more character growth options, we are preparing two new growth systems, Hero Affection, which Grand Cross has, and a sacred treasure frame enhancement so there you go affection over here and sacred treasure frame over there same tavern uh, look for grand cross um please note that again these details uh, are under development so the screens may not look finalized first the hero affection system allows you to uh, use the hero xp from your existing heroes to increase their affection level boosting their stats additionally various rewards will be available based on the growth level of hero's affection in grand cross it's gems i wonder if it's diamond in this game too we hope this hero affection system helps our adventurers who have again already maxed out their heroes to find a new purpose for their extra hero xp the second growth system sacred treasure frame enhancement allows you to use gold to strengthen the frames for each sacred treasure significantly boosting your account combat class in anticipation of the increased account combat class from these new growth events or systems we are also preparing to expand the combat class reward we hope you're excited with these changes adventurers we will continue to do our best to provide a more diverse and engaging growth experience in the future. The second update we would like to introduce is the expansion of current systems and content. We are adding a new advent boss battle following Galen and Melascula to further enhance your gameplay. We are also preparing updates to Tower of Trials, new stories, and stages. Additionally, we plan to expand the base defense content with new strategic elements to make more challenging and engaging. We aim to provide a more enjoyable and immersive experience as you participate in base defense battles. So again, base defense definitely. Uh, I think it's a very fun mode, so I can't wait for any improvements to that mode. Hopefully they don't ruin the aspect of it, but I'm excited for that. I really am. Next up, we plan to expand the base defense content. I would rather, right? Yeah, I already read this. We understand some of the adventurers may still be getting used to base defense content, so we released a special guide to help you. We hope that many of you will conquer the 100 waves and help uh, with the help of this guide. We are planning to introduce the hero card shop featuring, uh, or a feature that many of our, again, adventurers have requested. We understand the inconvenience you may experience when to summon a hero who is already fully awakened, leaving you with nothing to do. To address this, we're preparing a system where you can exchange hero cards of fully awakened heroes for various items or resources through the hero card shop. Hmm. Okay. So, for various items and resources, we can't exchange for another hero. I thought they would do that, but no. Um, details on the following updates will be provided through a future update notice, so please stay tuned. The third update will be um, the... What is it? will be about the addition of the global ranking system. With the upcoming server merge, we will introduce a global ranking system that includes all servers. So yeah, the entire global server is merging now, or a, ma a massive merge. Stage rankings, tavern level rankings, collection rankings, new rankings, festival rankings, who cares, who cares? So just a bunch of rankings. The ranking screen will be improved as shown above, allowing you to view uh, both server and global rankings for each, again, uh, piece of content. With the global ranking system, adventurers from all over the world who can compete or can compete and interact with the um, other adventurers from different servers we hope this will create a more uh, global gameplay experience for all our adventurers in seven daily sins idol the fourth update is the addition of a new minigame following the vanya and again scraps disposal we're announcing a new fun minigame over here 
tap anywhere to start. Sir Hawk's Relentless Charge, which looks similar to Grand Cross also. Seven Deadly Sins Idle Adventure aims to offer more than just idle gameplay by continually developing new mini games and diverse environments. Or sorry, diverse entertainment. You'll be able to enjoy previously added mini games and participate in the events featuring new mini games with generous rewards through mini game land. Please look forward um, to these upcoming updates, adventurers. The last update we would like to introduce is quality of life QOL improvements. We are working on resolving various inconveniences that may disrupt your gameplay on again Seven Deadly Sins Idle Adventure. This includes improvements to the server and knighthood chat, the battle skip feature, and the knighthood system UI, which will make knighthood activities smoother and more enjoyable. We are committed to continuously using your feedback, or sorry, your valuable feedback, to enhance the gaming experience of all our adventurers. This update discussed in the developer notes will be applied gradually, starting in the scheduled update for October 29th. Hmm. Wow, we are getting a update on October 29th. That's cool. Sorry, 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 sorry. September 29th. Um, further details will be uh, provided in an upcoming announcement. Additionally, we'd like to share important updates regarding a recent issue. We have received a lot of adventures about the colored player names to, uh, for a unique expression. However, this lead to, uh, led to unforeseen operational issues. As a result, starting on that update, all color names will be restricted and names will revert to their default color. Damn. We apologize for the limiting uh, customization aspect, but we hope for your understanding and ensuring a stable service for all of our adventurers is necessary. We promise to reintroduce this feature as a formal system within the game once stability is ensured. October is just around the corner, which means we uh, it's time for trick-or-treating. We have prepared various Halloween-themed events for you to enjoy, so stay tuned for the upcoming update. Lastly, to celebrate the release of our second developer node, we have prepared a gift for all of our adventurers playing. We will be distributing a thousand diamonds and 300 draw power to our mailbox or to the mailbox of all the hunters. Sorry, this is so lovely. No, this is uh, idle adventurers who again log in during 925 to 105. So make sure to log in, claim the gift. That's it. Uh, thank you again for your unwavering support. That's again been the Seven Deadly Sins Idle Adventure team. So overall, overall W, dude. Good, uh, good updates. A thousand diamonds, 300 draw power. Halloween events confirmed, which is really cool. Uh, sadly, we lost the colored names thing, which is kind of cool. It's a really cool system, but we lost it. So kind of sucks, but they will bring it back at some point. A lot of QL improvements and a lot of other uh, various things being fixed. Another mini game is coming soon. Be ready for that. Brand new rankings and a bunch of updated stuff over here. Brand new server merge is planned, so be ready for that. Hero card shop is planned for those that are duped on, on, on massive heroes. Over here again, base defense getting a revamp soon. Be ready for that. New advent, new again tower, new stories, new stages. Over here, brand new feature for this, brand new feature for this. Again, I think it's pretty cool. So my take, big W all around. Special developer notes here. Halloween is my one of my, again, more hyped things it is cool to see that uh this game will sort of celebrate some sort of festivities there and hopefully they, they just cook on those festivities we will take it um i don't know i think it'll be good you know i don't know if they're gonna do like a limited festival character or sorry limited halloween character but they'll do some halloween events bare minimum right so that's been it take care have fun that's all i got for you here today and yeah peace out